Hi, I'm Kyle Sporey, an RF and hardware engineering manager at DG International. We help great companies build better custom wireless products, and having experienced hundreds of product development efforts, we know the pitfalls. Drawing from our experience, here are four key things you can do so you can get to market faster. First, understand the challenge. It's vitally important to make sure you understand all the expectations about what the product will do and how it helps the customer in the accelerated go-to-market timeline. Do as much as you can up front to define any challenges with the requirements. Identify technologies that best serve the target functions and manufacturing costs. It's a good idea to start with a system architecture diagram and then create hardware and software architectures that can meet all of the requirements. With the system designed at a high level and some key technologies and components selected, you have the basis for a rough cost of materials. A company like Digi can also do a feasibility study for you to help make sure the design plan is optimized. The second way you can accelerate your time to market, simplify product design. With all your discovery information in hand, you can put together a project schedule and start getting serious about product design. Here are some tips that can really save you time and money. Choose technologies that are proven. Ideally, these technologies have reference designs. Use maker resources to create a quick prototype. Don't reinvent anything you don't have to. Seek support from a proven professional services team. Now, a big question is, should you use a module? It depends, but think about this. Module SOMs, SBCs, and XBs, like we offer, are designed to considerably expedite development time, plus minimize cost and complexity. In fact, they typically accelerate time to market by six to 18 months while removing risk and effort. Also, as you design, remember, focus on your core competency and know there are always trade-offs. The I want everything approach can really slow you down. Third, plan and partner for certification. Don't underestimate how tricky, complex, and time-consuming it can be to get the right certifications. Some test labs estimate that 80% of new cellular designs that require over-the-air testing fail certification the first time. To avoid slowing this process down and help ensure success, my tips are know what will be required. Understand certifications such as FCC, cellular carriers, PTCRB, EN, and so on. Partner early with experts such as test labs and cellular carriers. Consult with the professional services team that navigates certifications every day. One example is Digi Wireless Design Services. We guarantee certifications for products we fully design. And number four, accelerate testing. Here are my tips. Identify your manufacturing partner early. Whether internal or external, the design must follow their constraints. Don't get stuck with last minute revisions due to a manufacturer's limitations. Start manufacturing test development early. The complexities of wireless testing make this especially important. Plan for pre-certification testing at each phase of the project. Early testing is critical so you won't have any surprises in final certification testing. Using the tips outlined here has helped hundreds of Digi customers get to market quicker and start collecting revenue sooner. I hope it's been helpful for you. Thank you.